The member from Toronto, Danforth. Thank you, Speaker. My question to the Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. When California launched its cap-and-trade program a few years ago, large emitters were included right away. Household fuel and gasoline were added two years later. But in Ontario, it appears we're doing it the other way around. The government has proposed that Ontario families shall start paying right away, but the large emitters will get a free pass for four years. Why must Ontario families put their money on the table before the big emitters? Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure where the member is getting his, his information from. I think he's confusing the idea of free allowances, which help industry uh, transition, because you may know uh, there are jurisdictions that do not have a price on carbon yet, and we have to protect our industries from those and keep them competitive. But about over 85 percent of industries, Mr. Speaker, likely, as they were in California, will be paying and be paying at a reasonable rate on pollution and will also benefit from dollars coming from cap and trade to to uh, to reinvestment, and yes, we are proceeding with an across-the-board reduction. But that money is also going back, Mr. Speaker, into a plethora of programs. Many of them already announced in Kickstart programs, helping people reduce home heating costs, Answer. helping people buy electric vehicles, helping people reduce the cost of living, Mr. Speaker, which California and Quebec did not do in the first Thank instance. You. And we think we're ahead of the curve. There. Thank you. Supplementary. Speaker, in the minister's consultation document, there are free passes for all large industrial emitters on cap and trade, whether they need one or not. But all Ontario families will start paying right away, whether they can afford to or not. Ontarians are ready to do their part to fight climate change, but they want a system that is effective, fair, and transparent. Is the government proposing to put out or give out? free passes because its cap-and-trade policy is driven by lobbyists and special interests rather than the, than the need to deal with climate change. Thank you. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Look, look, I'm going to try and say it again slowly. Uh, <laughs> Carry on. Thank you. I'm going to say again slowly, Mr. Speaker, the vast majority of businesses we have, we, we estimate over 85 percent of large emitters will be paying on the same terms that they pay almost exactly in Quebec and Ontario, which up until today the member opposite supported. So this is not surprising, Mr. Speaker. The NDP has trouble with the environment. Every time it comes to tough decisions, they get all wobbly in the knees and look for excuses not to proceed. A price on pollution, Mr. Speaker, is a price on pollution, and we will have an equitable and fair distribution of the cost, Mr. Speaker, but as, as they all seem to have taken subtraction and never addition, because they can only talk about half the ledger, Mr. Speaker. I don't know whether it's some sort of dyslexia, Thank you. but quite frankly, Mr. Speaker, there's a major re Stop the clock. No, actually, start the clock. The, uh, I would ask us all to elevate uh, the debate, and at any given time, members might excitedly say things that I know they don't want to say, uh, and if there's an opportunity to withdraw, I would ask that it be withdraw. I would withdraw. I got carried away in my rhetoric. I apologize. Um, the normal procedure is simply a withdrawal. I want to do it right. Just withdraw. 